I'm Vicky Foster and I was the winner of the Amazon Award in 2020 for my play Bathwater. Before I wrote Bathwater, I'd been writing and performing a lot of poetry, so I'd been kind of glancing off the subject matter. And in some ways, it felt like a really big relief to finally get into it and have a good look at it. And um, there were points in the process of writing it that it was really difficult and I'd not quite anticipated that. But once I got to the end of it, that just made writing it feel like even more of an achievement. And then the process of sharing it was really fulfilling for me. It felt like a really big connection that I got to make with people because um, not only had people appreciated the way in which I'd written it, but they'd also really heard my story. So yeah, just a, a great process to go through. Getting the phone call to tell me that I'd been shortlisted for the Armisen Award was just amazing. It was like something that I never dreamed would happen. And then when it began to sink in that that meant I was going to the Audio Drama Awards in London, in the BBC building, there was loads of films, people were going to be there because I'd read who else was nominated for awards. That was just like brilliant. And then to get there, experience that and then to finally win it was just out of this world. But I think the best part of all of it for me was getting to speak to the judges afterwards and realising just what a rigorous process they'd gone through before they arrived at a winner. That was really fulfilling because obviously these are people that are hugely experienced. So yeah, that really, that was really special. I think awards like the Armisen that recognise new voices are hugely important. I think it's really easy to feel like an imposter when you move into any new area of work. And that's particularly true if the background that you're from isn't particularly well represented in the area that you're wanting to work in. Also, um, if your first player gets picked up for Radio 4, like Bathwater did, and goes out to millions of people, then it's really nice to get that recognition from your peers afterwards. Like, I was lucky, I got a lot of feedback on Twitter and emails from people who'd heard it. But to have that recognition from other people who've been doing it a lot longer can be really pivotal in making you feel like it's something you can do again and it's something that's worth pursuing for you and you can take it forward. I think the first thing would be to really stay true to your own voice and the story that you want to tell. I think it's really exciting to hear new ideas and perspectives and I found audio drama to be a form that's really quite flexible and you might think of ways to use it that other people haven't necessarily done in the same way before. The second thing would be to connect with people as much as possible, people who've worked in that area because just chatting to them you might pick up all kinds of valuable tips and ideas. And the third thing would be to share your work as widely as possible, let people know what you can do and share your ideas, talk to people you meet about your ideas because they might not know how to get your idea off the ground, but they might know someone who can, who can help you. And that was my experience. I found people to be really generous and that's how Bathwater got made.